it's Shelly with Gilbert Marketplace, and today we're gonna make this cute little snowman uh, salt shaker from the Dollar Tree. Uh, super cute, they have these little signs too, it says let it snow, I kinda just made that for my little tiered tray. And um, I do lots of little um, inexpensive DIYs. So you get two salt shakers for a dollar, so super deal. What I do is I unscrew the cap here, um, we're going to fill it with this little snow. You can get this snow anywhere, Walmart, Dollar Tree, Big Lot, wherever you want. Um, I filled that up. Yeah, it can be super messy, so. But it's just kind of fun. You could paint it um, if you wanted, but I kind of like the glass look. You can also do these with really cute with uh, vintage salt shakers. You know, if you can find some vintage ones, super cute. They have all kinds of uh, different ones you can do. So let's uh, get that mess in there. All right, I picked up a bunch of little styrofoam balls. I actually got them for like 50 cents, so I couldn't pass it up. I just grabbed one. Let's use the bent part down. And I'm going to use that as the head. You could paint it, but I feel like the texture, it's white, so it works. And I'm just gonna glue that on. You can, let's put it on the rim so that it glues on there extra good. There you go. I grabbed my old vintage buttons and I found some buttons. Some I found were black and some weren't. And on this one, I believe I even painted them because if you noticed on my little guy here, I have three different sizes. And um, with this little guy, I just found these. So I'm just going to use these little buttons to go um, down his um, little shirt, you know, body. So I'm just going to glue those on. Like I said, you can use all different sizes. You can use vintage buttons. You know, I always have a lot of buttons. So I'm like, hey, this is just kind of fun. So I just glued those on like that. And then on this one, I use um, some ribbon. You could use ribbon to make a um, scarf. Or, you know, if you have a piece of scrap burlap, I was thinking of doing this one with some red. Um, burlap. I'm just going to cut a piece and kind of tie it around and glue that down also. I was debating if I wanted to, yeah, I think it's kind of cute, use the burlap or the buffalo check ribbon, but you know, you can use whatever you like. And then if it's too long, like I just cut a little piece, that's the thing with burlap, it kind of frays all over, but I think I'll cut it here just a little bit shorter. And then I'll just kind of fray the ends so it looks like a scarf. You know how all us little scarves have little danglies. Um, you can kind of do, you know, whatever you like. I'll just trim it up there, here a little. So I did that. Like I said, this is just a fun little project. I had some extra fur left over. So I don't know, I just put a little <laughs> around the neck. No, whoops, no rhyme, no reason. All right, maybe this one's too skinny to rip more. Let's see if I can do this side. I just kind of pulled a small piece. All right, this is not working. That's all right, we'll just manually cut it. I just don't want it to be too big and bulky, so. Like I said, these are just a lot of times stuff I have around the house for these projects. Another reason why it doesn't make it very expensive. But I kind of, I put that around his neck. I just kind of covered that up a little. Um, just to add a little glam to it. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Um, but I just kind of thought it was a little fun. And then I just cut that to kind of fit. Glued that on in the back a little. You could put that on, you know, with the scarf. There's a little piece of red sticking out. I'll just chop that off. All 
right, then I used a little bit of glue on my lid from my salt shaker. And I'm just gonna kind of put some around the edge and on the inside. And I kind of put it off to the side. So that was his hat. Quiet. And then I used another button. Shh, Rocky, please. Um, I just found one. This one was a button and I just kind of uh, used, like I said, a vintage button. I don't have another one like that, so let's see. I just thought it would make it look like more of a tassel on his hat. Let me see, I don't know. Do I want, well, that's kind of a different color. Let's see here. I don't know, like I said, we just kind of used what you got. Um, there's a metal one here. It's kind of gold, I think, silver. So I'm just going to glue this on, just kind of like a tassel on his hat. It just gives it a little extra something. You could put a diamond on there, you could put a cotton ball, you could put whatever you want on it. You don't have to do anything if you don't want to. But I'm gonna do that. So we got his little scarf, we got his buttons. Now how I did his little face was so I found some push pins, and I recommend those. These are from the Dollar Tree also, um, but these were a little too big for this size snowman. So what I did, oh geez, where is it? Okay, they are pins. I used the little um, pins, and I think I forgot to bring mine out. So I just took the little pins for sewing, because I'm a sewer, and I decided to use those. That's how I did the eyes. And then the little flat metal ones, I did the teeth and I just did some black. So for the nose, what I did is I took a toothpick, get yourself a little toothpick, and I kind of cut it a little bit and then I painted it orange. So let's do this uh, the other way. We're going to paint it orange first. And so I just dipped it in there and used my little chalk paint. Any orange paint will work. And just give it a little paint. You can make it as long as you want or short as you want. There we go. And then I cut it. It will be easier since this is probably still wet. Then cut it to the like, just not too short, but enough so you can stick it in and it still sticks out. Let's see, we want his nose to about right here. Kind of pointing up. You can see how, you know, cute that is, right? All right, let's uh, do that. So, like I said, if the push pin, and I think they carry like little small push pins at Walmart, but if they don't, like I said, you can get these ones at the Dollar Tree, but I think these ones are still gonna be a little bit big for this little guy. He'll look kind of like a bug eye, see that? So we're going to use the regular push pins. And because I happen to forget those, I will put those on after. So you can see I used the little push pins. This was the ones from um, the sewing and then I used the little metal ones and I painted those black. So that's how you'll finish off his face. So you'll have a cute little salt shaker with the little snow in it. They're just like little, you know, cute ways to make little snowmen. You can embellish it. I had another button that was like a little um, star and I put that on there. You could put a jewel, you could put anything you want on it. These are just cute little ideas for little cute little decorations that you can do for your little tiered tray or just to set on a little shelf as a shelf sitter. Hey again, it's Shelly with Gilbert Marketplace, and I hope you enjoyed this cute little snowman DIY. Everyone have a great Saturday and enjoy your day. Thanks for watching.